How to implement effective access controls to protect information assets. Implementing effective access controls, managing user privileges and roles, and monitoring and auditing access to information assets are crucial aspects of information security management according to ISO 27001. Here's a guide on how to address these aspects in line with ISO 27001 requirements. Number 1. Implementing Effective Access Controls Access controls ensure that only authorized users have access to information assets. Follow these steps. A. Identification of assets Identify and classify information assets based on their sensitivity and importance. B. Risk assessment. Conduct a risk assessment to understand potential vulnerabilities and threats related to these assets. C. Access control policy. Develop a comprehensive access control policy outlining who can access what information and under what circumstances. D. Authentication and authorization. Implement strong authentication methods like two-factor authentication to verify user identities. Define authorization levels and implement the principle of least privilege, ensuring users have the minimum access necessary for their roles. E. Encryption and decryption. Encrypt sensitive data during transmission and storage to prevent unauthorized access. F. Regular review. Regularly review and update user access rights based on job roles and responsibilities changes. Number 2. Managing user privileges and roles. Effective management of user privileges and roles ensures that users have appropriate access to information assets. A. Role-based access control RBAC. Implement RBAC defining roles and assigning permissions based on job functions. Regularly review and update roles to align with organizational changes. B. User training and awareness. Provide training to users about their responsibilities concerning access controls. Ensure users understand the importance of protecting sensitive information. User account management. Establish procedures for creating, modifying, and disabling user accounts. Disable or remove accounts promptly when employees leave the organization or change rules. Number three, monitoring and auditing access to information assets. Monitoring and auditing access activities help in detecting and responding to security incidents. A. Logging and monitoring. Implement robust logging and mechanism to record user activities and access attempts. Regularly monitor logs for unusual or unauthorized activities. B. Incident Response Plan. Develop an incident response plan to address security breaches promptly. Define procedures for investigating and responding to unauthorized access incidents. C. Regular audits. Conduct regular internal and external security audits to assess the effectiveness of access controls. Use the audit results to make necessary improvements to the access control system. D. Compliance checks. Regularly assess the access controls against ISO 27001 requirements to ensure compliance. Address any gaps or non-compliance issues promptly. By following these guidelines and incorporating them into your organization information security management system, you can establish effective access controls, manage user privileges and roles, and monitor and audit access to information assets in line with ISO 27001 standards. Remember that a proactive and continuous approach to security is essential for maintaining the integrity and confidentiality of your information assets. 
that was all for today i sincerely thank you we will see you in the next video